Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 37 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And first up in this episode, we have a game against Wigan, who are currently 19th in the league. I haven't won a game yet, only two points. Aston Villa's actually doing it terribly. I haven't really focused on the bottom of the table too much, but Aston Villa doing really, really poorly in 20th. Uh, and they've got some quality players like Benteke as well. Definitely want to get a scout report him. Yes, yeah, get another scout report on him. Uh, just a little update to see how much um, yeah he's worth and all that kind of stuff. Because if they get relegated, and when you start like that, <laughs> of course there's always a chance of yeah winning a few games in a row. And they've got quality, like I said, some quality players. But when you lose the first eight games. Uh, it's not a good sign, but you can see like a run of three wins or something would get them out of there, kind of. So, yeah, who knows what can happen, but they're not in a very good position right now. Anyway, I set up the team before we went into this, uh, before I started recording, more specifically, and we've got Wigan. Actually, I'm just going to make one alteration, and that is Victor Valdez for Nicola Liali. Yeah, Valdez has been okay for me, not amazing, but I haven't really had any goalkeepers that's been overly amazing for me yet in FM15. Usually goalkeepers, yeah, make mistakes. Uh, so I feel signing these goalkeepers uh, for free transfers, you know, I've been talking about that a bit. It's a good deal. Like, you've got a potential guy, Liali, who's came in uh, four games, only conceded one goal in the Premier League, three clean sheets. Uh, he looks really good, uh, Liali, so give him a chance. And obviously, he shows his ability, and he's only going to get better. Imagine how he'll perform when he's experienced. So here, yeah, you can see... A lot of changes, bringing center mids, Will Hughes, Axel Witzel. I really want to get Witzel going because he does have good attributes. 17 for passings, that's a really good passing attribute. And he's got a lot of high mentals, like teamwork, work rate, positioning, off the ball, composure, and concentration. They're really important ones. So I reckon he can start to get going a bit. But he has to perform here, surely, against Wigan. Who do they have? They got um, Oriol Riera. I don't feel this guy's a Premier League striker. He's He doesn't, just judging off his attributes, doesn't seem that way. Obviously, come from Osasuna. Uh, he had a good season in the championship, but obviously Premier League is something like... And that's another series idea. Leave your thoughts on this one. Obviously, I don't want to try and start too many. I want to really build this one as it is, as a long series, and my journeyman will as well. But starting as a championship side, and then trying to get promoted in the Premier League, obviously, and then trying to survive and then move your way from there. Obviously, lower league management, you would see that way in the future. And I do want to do lower league management, but that's going to be such a long process. And who knows if I'm going to get there or not, especially with the way I like to record my video. So leave your thoughts starting as a championship team. Um, yeah, do you think that's a good idea? And it's it's more of a shorter kind of challenge, I guess you can say, opposed to lower league management to get to that stage. But you're getting a team in the championship promoted, but then surviving, trying to fight. And I... I didn't really do that last year, and I wanted to. Um, so, yeah, leave your thoughts if you would want to see that. And then eventually, after surviving, try and build on and, yeah, move up to a Premier League kind of team. Um, maybe you can't go from just a team getting promoted to a team that's going to win the league in two seasons or something. It's going to happen over time. But, yeah, leave your thoughts. I just thought in that my yeah in my head right now. If you think that's a good idea, like I saw your teams like Aston Villa and Wigan, yeah, struggling. So leave your thoughts on that anyway. So we'll go in, uh, we'll go to the team talk. And on that point as well, I'll just say aggressively, we should be winning this game without a problem. On that point, how long do you want this series to go? Uh, obviously, this could be a long-term series. Uh, would you like me to maybe stop after this season and maybe start that? Like I said, would you find that interesting? Uh, start as a championship side because I like championship. I like the that league for whatever reason. It's just really competitive. Then you try and get promoted, and yeah, all the stuff that comes with that, surviving and all of that. So leave your thoughts if you'd like, like to see that. Obviously, lower league management that is going to be on my channel at some point, but it has to be the right time. And yeah, we'll see when that is, because yeah, championship saves are enjoyable for me. I've always done them. Uh, whether it be privately, definitely I've always done that. Or it be League One as well. I, I remember doing Southampton one and Leeds when they were in the, uh, th that league, uh, the League One. So, yeah, leave your thoughts on those potential series. But here, we got to focus because Martin Waghorn has scored his first goal of the season. I always seem to get that against me. Players always seem to <laughs> score their, four, yeah, their first goal of the season against me personally. So, we'll see how that goes.
but yeah, like I said, I don't know why that is. And he's he's got a knock as well, and he comes up to score. But now we get it back. We have a corner. Rojo sets up for Yanazai to cross it in, and it is for Falcao. We hit back right away. That's what we needed right there. We can't lose against Wigan, surely. This has to be a win as well, not just a draw. And yeah, uh, Wigan, this kind of prospect is what I want, to be honest. I reckon that could be a really interesting save when you've got a team, obviously, after getting promoted, then you're struggling in the next division. The players are probably not up to scratch. That's something, a real challenge. So I do want to start that. I'm just not sure which team I'd want to be in it. So here, leave your thoughts. But they've got another corner and Liali comes up to take it. That's better, Liali. Just come up to take it. That's what we want to see. Uh, boots it long, falls to Armstrong, and yeah, with championship sides, it, it just kind of allows different kind of signings, obviously with a big team like United, you go for big signings or a cheap young play or whatever, as Falcao <laughs> yeah, comes in and bangs another, but he's offside, unfortunately, uh, but then there's pluses of being a top team like Manchester United because I love finding those regens and stuff and then develop yeah, however I want to develop them. But I guess the downside is actually getting them playing it enough for them to be a first-team player. That's been the only downside of series on YouTube because, yeah, I just... You get bored after a while when you win competition. So we'll have to see how it goes down. Di Maria, poor cross. Come on, got to do better. Both their strikers actually have knocks. So, we should defend well. We shouldn't concede another goal. We should play really well for the rest of the game. Come on, Di Maria. Get this in. He does. Falcao, Yanazai. I'm not sure if he meant that. But Giovinco comes up with another goal. He has been a superstar for me, Sebastian Giovinco. Fifth goal of the season. He's made a real impact. Look at that by Falcao. He improvised to Yanazai. And that really should have been a goal to whoever that is. Falcao, yeah. Um, and Giovinco uh, steps up once again. But to be fair, I'm playing him a lot in, I guess, easier teams. Yeah, but he's performing. But we've got to keep pushing on. One goal, like, lead is definitely not good enough. Giovinco again plays it. Falcao. He should have hit it across the keeper, not straight at him near post. But this is 2-1, and yeah, that's what I mean about the prospect of another series, like I said, championship. I really like recording Football Manager, just sitting down and recording and playing the game. It's, it's really enjoyable for me, so that's why I always think of new ideas, just to try something different. Just Yeah, so I'd love to see your feedback. I'll probably even title it, because I've talked about it a bit here. So yeah, leave your thoughts on that as a shorter term kind of series. Obviously, like I said, lower league management is long term, but yeah, maybe shorter term, but it could be turned into a long term save depending how I go. Obviously, yeah, trying to get promoted from the championship, but then surviving in the Premier League. I could end it there or continue on, try and push on to mid table and then eventually try and win the league, go to Champions League as well. So yeah, leave your thoughts if you think that's a good idea, if you'd like to see that kind of save. But here, we need to make some subs because... We have an important game against AC Milan coming up. And uh, Axel Witzel, Rafael is lower condition. We will bring on Jose Maria Jimenez. And who else? Uh, Axel Witzel, again, uh, poor. His morale. His performance has been okay. Nothing special. But yeah, we've got to slowly introduce him back in. We'll bring Juan Mata in. And one more sub. Every young guy on the bench, depart. not really anyone. Just who needs a bit of a rest. Yeah, Falcao. And we shall bring on... Hmm, who should I bring on? Reskoldani. Let's see how he goes. Jimenez, no pressure. And sorry if you can hear some background noise. It's just trucks and stuff. <laughs> With the bins or whatever. But anyway, I have faith in Mata. He looks happy. And Reskoldani, I'll say assertively. Uh, what should I say? I'll say calmly. And... I don't know what to say, because this one is a lot more... Uh, I think there's a lot more to come from you, but he's shown a lot already, but I don't want to say pressure off or show me what you got. That's like pressure. So, yeah. It was a bit hard to choose a team dog there for 
risk Aldani because he's played well already. So it's not like I want to expect more from him. He's doing his job. Mata. Jimenez, we still need that goal, like I said, to finish this off. Di Maria. Come on, you've got to do better. We need to be more convincing. This is not really an amazing performance. But if we score... Oh, that was perfect. Finish it. Oh, my God. But, yeah, this is, hasn't been one of my most dominant performance by any stretch of the imagination. We're just doing what we're expected. But we're not playing... Like I said, we're not playing amazingly. But we've got to turn that around for the AC Milan game, definitely. But the passing here is good. Jimenez. Mata. Oh, good ball for Yanazai to Giovinco again. How good has Sebastian Giovinco been for a free signing? Sixth goal of the season, scoring in the Premier League, where it matters, not just some cup games. And Jimenez and Mata, look, that's just class. That's just world-class ball for Yanazai. Then Yanazai just set up for Giovinco, and it's hard to say that. Giovinco placed it really, really well, and he's on some crazy good form at the minute. And Finally, one of their strikers had to um, yeah, be subbed through injury. See, the reason that sparked me, this is why, if people wonder why I want to start a lot of saves all the time or something, it's because I see something like that. What sparked me to talk about was that striker who just got injured when I talked about him before at the start of this game. I see someone like that, and he's a player I would never sign for Manchester United or something. He's just not that quality. But, yeah, I just see that how he played really well in the championship. And then he hasn't been as good in the Premier League. What the hell defending was that? They just let this Delort guy come on and almost score. But yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not sure if anyone else is the same, but that's something that kind of sparks me to start a new save. It's really not something for me about YouTube. Oh, I want to start a new save to get more views or something. I don't know what people think is so bad about starting a new save. But that's what does it just taking a look at a player and it could spark at any time. So I just want to let you know what, yeah, what happens like that for me to start a new save. It's always been like that for me as well when I played off YouTube before I started YouTube as well for football manager videos. So yeah, just want to let you know that, I guess. <laughs> just something I felt like I wanted to talk about uh, with this fairly simple game. It wasn't as simple as I would have liked it to be, especially the first half, but the second half we pushed on even though it still wasn't a, like an amazing performance. We just got the job done once again. So, yeah, leave your thoughts on that yeah, new series. Uh, I'm not saying I'm going to do it soon. Uh, just at some point, would you like to see that? Uh, yeah, drop in your comments. So here we got a real important game against AC Milan. If we win this, it's going to be a huge game to win as well because it's away from home. We can take their spot. But if we lose... It could be real dangerous because if CSKA win against Besiktas, they'll take our position. So it's real crucial to not actually use it, um, you, uh, yeah, lose this game because we've got to be responsible. And this is where this series is going to come to light now. Of course, I've already won the league in the first season, but the next port of call is to win the Champions League. Whew, we've got the players in some areas to win it, but some areas also we're lacking. So I personally don't feel we're going to win the Champions League this season. I want to win it. I just don't feel I personally will. Uh, it be best for the series if I don't, but I'm not going to think about it in that way because I'm not going to lose on purpose or anything. But yeah, like I want to win Champions League. I really want to, and that's going to be the motivation uh, for me to keep going, along with yeah, developing guys like Rowan Preston, because that's yeah one of my biggest reasons. So yeah, I have a lot of ideas I want to do with Football Manager this year. So, uh, so we'll see if other series I kind of mentioned are going to go through, or, or it just really depends. Because you seem to be getting a real good response to this series, so I will be keep uploading it until that dies down, uh, because I'll always enjoy it. There's always something, whether it be yeah winning Champions League as a goal or developing young players. Um, it's either one of those. But anyway, aside from that, I have gone with my control formation with two defensive midfielders. That's, like I said before, it's crucial that we do not lose this game. So we might have to play a bit more defensive. And, of course, I'm going to keep Giovinco in. I dropped Falcao just because of fitness reasons. Brought Van Persie back in. This is a huge game. Also, Di Maria got injured. So Juan Mata's coming in, yeah, in his position out wide. So you've got John Stones in there as well. Rojo, wait. There's another better centre back. Yeah, Phil Jones is still injured. You have a lot of injuries. Um, who else? Quadrado is injured still. I think he came back from his injury. Oh, only two to three days. Yeah, so he'll be back. 
And you got Memphis Depay, actually. Oh, Mata. Actually, I'm going to drop him. Sometimes, yeah, Mata, he just doesn't suit into the role as much as another player would. But he could come on if we need a score. Might push up, yeah, to the centre mid position again. So, we'll just see. And your Yanazai is forced to being to, to play every single game here. But that's a good thing because he does want to play. And we'll bring in Belanta for Rojo here. Just maybe some strength as a beastly yeah, centre back. So, come on, let's go straight in. This is where the important games are in the Champions League. So let's take a look at their team. They're still going with the Al Sharari as the the main striker. I still don't think that's good. Like you know, last time we played him, I think it came a draw. But I still feel it was uh, for me. Al Sharari didn't make a real impact. So they probably need another striker, and he could be. Well, I love um, yeah, Stefan Al Sharari. Like I'd love to sign him. Who knows? He can significantly improve in the future, but he'll be that. He could be a big money signing. You know, I always basically make one big money signing at the start of a new season, and he could be that. He could be that because he can actually play striker, but he can play wide as well. So he's a real good player. I did sign him last year in FM14 as well. So he's a real consideration. Maybe yeah, next season. But people think I need to get a world class goalkeeper in. We'll see how it goes down. So here we'll go calmly. But there's so much. Yeah, go out there and carry straight on where you finished last match. Yep, I'm happy with that. Quite a few players motivated. That's a rare reaction for me to get that many motivated, if I'm honest as well. I actually like AC Milan's team. See, the more I think about other teams, the more I want to start another save. I should really not talk about other teams. Just focus on my team. Because, yeah, when I start talking about the other team, I get motivated to maybe start a save <laughs> with them. But look at that. Giovinco already. He scored from a header as well, and he's small. He's just firing on all cylinders right now. And the Van Persie corner was perfect for him. He's like against three defenders there, basically. And he came up and found the back of the net. He's scoring everywhere. Like I said, not just against lower teams. He's scoring in the Champions League here to, yeah, away to AC Milan. One of the best European teams in terms of history. And it's again! <laughs> It's two again, and that was created by Giovinco this time off the header, set it up f just greatly for Van Persie, and Depay was the danger. He initially created that with the danger, but look at that Giovinco, that is just smarts. Amazing stuff by there, oh yeah, amazing stuff there by Giovinco. He was never going to win that against Alex in the air though. Yanazai played it through, it's Giovinco again! Oh, what a start that would have been. He's already had an amazing start. He's looking confident as well. You can see that. See, the problem here, Yanazai. I know, he's playing heaps. You don't really... Oh, he's going to get injured now. Is that injured? He dropped to like 30 condition. I thought he was going to get injured. That's lucky. We don't really have anyone to come on. We don't even have Di Maria on the bench because he's injured. But you think we'll be having to sub Yanazai at some points because of that low condition. So it's good to have a two-goal lead. And maybe make it three here. We'll see Van Persie. Falls to Pereira for them. Back to Diego Lopez. A long goal kick there. And yeah, Menez just wasted it. They don't have that tall striker up front to win headers. See, they've got Al Sharari, they've got Menez around there trying to win headers. That's never going to work out well for them. Oh, almost getting it back here. Tackle. Menez. But this is where they'll be dangerous when the ball's on the floor. Aqua, Pereira, Menez, De Chilio whips in a cross. Oh, no. I hate conceding goals late. We're still in the lead. But Simone Verdi did well to finish that. Like I said, that's where their danger lies. But they did put the cross, and I'm actually surprised they scored uh, from a cross. Like, we had Rafael. Yeah, Rafael's not the best in the air. Our defense actually hasn't had a good game. If you look at their ratings, they've been pretty poor. Our attack is where we've been good. So, hmm. It's interesting because we're playing on the more defensive tactic. But we'll go aggressive here. I'm not happy. Poor, I, I was scared there a little bit because we haven't played so well, but we're winning. But I knew we're not playing well. So, especially the defense, really poor ratings. John Stones as well. He wants to be playing more. He wants to be a first-team player in, like as a team that wants to win the league and I guess Champions League as well but he's not yeah not performing on the big stage right here come on 
I'm thinking to maybe... I'm not sure if I want to go defensive or not. Oh, Belanta, well done. Oh, there's a lot of yellows. Oh, I knew. There was too many yellows there not to be a red card. Someone was going to get a red card. I just knew it. There was too many yellows, <laughs> like, on their names. I knew that. So here, I guess we're going to have to sacrifice a striker, but they've blown... Yeah. Oh, maybe Yanazai. Can Giovinco play wide? He can a little bit. And because he's a good... Yeah, he's had a good game, we'll drop him. So what we will do here is drop Yanazai for Giovinco. Now, Yanazai will drop to defensive midfield, and he'll play there until... <laughs> nah, uh, we'll sub him out. Uh, Van Persie. We'll leave him there, and then we'll take Yanazai out. And we'll bring in Axel Witzel, just for another defensive midfield type. And that's all we'll do for now. And hopefully that will work well. We'll go assertively, and we'll say, show me what you got tonight. No, oh, he looks stressed. He doesn't get good reactions at all. Come on. But I want to keep I want to keep playing him. I'm, I just have faith he'll come good when things are going right. But I hope, anyway. That's what I'm hoping for. But here they have Alex from the free kick. He's got a... Oh, oh no, they scored. Oh, my God. That's disappointing. Powerful free kick. And Valdez couldn't do much about that because that actually came off the crossbar. So that's a bit unlucky. But your defense has to be aware to it, and we weren't. And it could go from bad to worse here, and it does because of the stupid red card. Now I'm unsure of what to do. Maybe have to bring on Mata. We'll take off Will Hughes. Switch this up a little bit. We'll go to attacking formation. And we'll see how this goes down. It's a bit ruined now, our formation. Because, yeah, Giovinco not natural out there. Maybe Van Persie. Oh, no, nah, I can't. He's scored. Um, Maybe Luke... Sh I don't even know. No, Rojo. Belanta's played badly and on a yellow. I wouldn't want him to get another yellow as well and get a red card. Come on, Mata. I have faith in you. He looks happy. Rojo as well. There's a lot more to come from you. Come on. Oh, but yeah, the red card has killed us. And Verdi put it in. And Aqua scores. And I know, yeah, people. I guess people are going to say now you probably should have gone better defensively, changed more things up defensively. Uh, but yeah, there's not much I can do now. It's just, yeah, red card, I don't really... It's hard to deal with a red card, regardless of what formation you play. If you're playing with a less man, it's it's always going to be against your favor or in the favor of the opposition. As you can see here, good tackle stones. But somehow I'm hoping for a goal. We just got to go for it. It's either win or lose. We're, we're going to lose, so might as well try and score. Come on, get rid of this. Uh, I know, yeah, it's hard. Like I said, I might as well go for it now. I push Depay up and Giovinco. Again, in a bit more natural position for him now. And Mata, just go for it. Go for the jugular. Because, yeah, we're going to lose anyway if we don't do anything else. So we might as well go for it. Even Bernat pushing up. Raf. But, yeah, Bernat will change his role to a complete win back. And then Raphael. I said Raphael. And then we'll go on to complete win back and obviously attack. Ooh, and even Witzel, deep line playmaker on support. Yes. It's going to be hard and we could probably concede, but we have to go for something. Um, team talk. Passionately push forward. Go. 10 minutes remaining. If we can hum yeah, somehow score, it'll be amazing. Mata. Get it. It's going to go to us. We've got to do something with this. Bernat. He just gave it away. It's like he just gave up. He's like, 
let's pass it to the opposition. And it could lead to a chance for them here. Whoa, how close. Might as well go overload. In the final seconds or minutes, whatever. And yeah, it was just too hard. AC Milan, when you play away from home, yeah, it's tough. They're a solid team, a solid unit, and Verdi almost finished the job. But yeah, if we didn't get a red card, it could have been a different story because we were playing so well up until that. And then, yeah, <laughs> Lucas Romero, who was actually having a good game, somehow got a red card. It just wasn't our night. They got motivated from that, but... Oh, we are lucky. We are lucky. Besiktas beat CSKA. Oh, thank God for that. So we still maintain our second position there. We're a little bit lucky there. And yeah, but now we're probably not going to come first in the in the group. So it's going to, yeah, we're probably going to play against a tough team in the first knockout rounds. If we do make that, we've still got two more games to play. We've got to definitely perform. Well, I'm not going to say perform better. We played greatly in the first half. We just got knocked down by that red card by the game because uh, it was look like, yeah, we were looking like winning. So. <laughs> what can you do? So yeah, here for Ramiro, I'm not going to just say issue a warning. I'm going to find two weeks wages uh, because I just yeah, discuss personal. Yeah, I'm the boss. That's it. You cost the loss. It was unfair, was it? You're why we lost. Really? We were looking like winning. We were looking like winners. Let's speak to him. I'm going to say passionately. What's this? Yes, you let your you, you let both yourself and your teammates down, and I feel this warrant. Yeah, feel that warranted this punishment. I regret my actions. Whilst I still think the fine is unfair, I can understand what you're coming from. Consider. This the last I sound the matter. Good. At least he understands. He understands he did something wrong. And maybe in the future, and he's in that situation, he won't maybe go in for that tackle. So that's what I mean. I always go for things for the future, whether it be buying young players or something like this, where this young guy comes in, obviously he's a class player, but yeah, sometimes he could make an error and hopefully, yeah, that will put him in good stead that hopefully that is a good piece of management from myself and you won't see that from him ever again and he'll be a really leader at the club for that decision. That's what I want to see. But anyway, this, yeah, this episode was a bit up and down. We had a good, easy I guess you expect the win against Wigan. That's what we got. It was away from home, though. Good performance. AC Milan, the first half, we played greatly. But then, yeah, we let him into the game through the red card. But forgetting about that for a second, we've got two games in the next episode against Man City and Arsenal. The Arsenal game will be huge, and even huge for Man City, because if we win against Man City, they're going to be probably out of the race completely. And, yeah, it'll be... Amazing if we can win against Arsenal because that will just separate the gap so much. The gap's already four points. Imagine if I make it seven. So that would be insane. But if you enjoy this episode and you want to see the next one really soon, the Man City and Arsenal games, drop a like and I'll see you guys next time.